Hi. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. That is not talking. Are we fine? Yes, we are. Thank you, Bridget. Um, Royal Hawks, you would have to join as well, though. <laughs> Sorry? I'm a bit I think busy. To... That's why. But, uh, okay. I'm a bit, um, but go on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so Bridget, like I said, um, you know, we, we want to quickly correct some narratives, right? The first one is people saying that Bimbo's friends were not there for her when she was alive, that people did not try to help her you know, get out of the marriage. Yeah, so I, I mean, I needed to just, you know, throw in light on that. Yeah, like you said, try. The word try mm. means they can only try. You know, when it comes to love, love is actually a weapon that only the few can understand. It is complicated. I mm. can only try. I cannot mm. come to yours, even if now it depends on, on on the kind of relationship i have with you even when i'm in uh -huh. a relationship with you and then uh -huh. um um and then um, you know you know oh, i'm really really crazy it is somebody like me that would go to bimbo's house confront the husband and board my house even if i'm not uh -huh. a sister babe uh -huh. you cannot die in here i get a uh -huh. ticket i fly her out if she wants to uh -huh. go crazy on me let her go crazy uh -huh. on me you will not die you can mm -hmm. go crazy on me, but I don't want you dead. Mm. So, I mean, as much as everybody's just trying to be careful, everybody mm -hmm. just don't want to. Ah, I don't want to offend Bimbo because, as it mm -hmm. is, you know, Bimbo's energy is 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 like all over, okay. And there is limits to what we can do. Anything called marriage, another person is mm. involved. They are in the business. They are in the partnership. Mm. So you are just mm -hmm. subordinate. You are just so, mm -hmm. for me, people can only try. But if I know how important you are to me, babe, I will kidnap mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody will say it can only be for a period of time she will go back. Then, it is the husband that will hold. Mm -hmm. People will not be calling the husband like, you know, I cannot hold Bimbo. I cannot control her. She's an adult. I think mm. if she had just changed, if something had just happened for her to just leave that place at that particular time, it would be a different ballgame by now. If she had just mistakenly gone to maybe a friend's place and sleep that day, you know, by now, maybe she might still even be alive. Mm, mm, if one mm. person has been so crazy, say, you want me to feel the moment, yes, you know, listen. If that thing, mm. that time, and just shit, mm. mm -hmm. only my shit, and she would, no, it is pain. It, it, it is, it is. is. And, it and is. you know, just to compliment what, what, what you said, you know, for those who are listening, she, she said it all. There is little you can do when yeah. someone's mind is not made up to leave an abusive situation you can advocate you can talk but there are two people right especially when they have access to each other's device so you are typing on one person's phone the other person has access you become the bad person you can but in yeah. both case i can categorically tell everyone listening that people tried to help a lot of people if you go on facebook you would see messages when from some of our friends that well, kind of this, that... helping as is it has passed. You know, there are some helping that before you mm. even get to me, it doesn't even mm. get to me. People mm. will say, Lord, are you providing means for her? Do you understand mm. the situation she was in? Did you observe? Mm. You know, did you observe what is the mental health? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Did you mm -hmm. go to her? Did you engage mm -hmm. with her? Did you have mm -hmm. that kind of help? Because help is different. That's if true. I'm talking to you from afar, you are helping me, yes. But do you do you think that apart help will get to me? No. Mm -mm. But she I agree. Tried, she tried to communicate to everybody. Yes. She was. I also she think she, she will come out yes. and say, maybe that is why they said she had all wanted to. She, she had, you know, she wanted to die. No. She mm. was saying her to cool. She was just no. trying to express herself. Mm. Oh, you see, the most difficult 
thing is no people knowing and giving you the exact help that you no, know, there are so many help you may want to be helping me but if you don't give me that yeah. thing that I actually need that is the help go 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 all other help are yeah. useless That's the true. help i felt being what needed at that time would have been somebody to go and pick her away from there or let it be down let it be bimbo that will be the one explaining what went down there mm. do you understand what i'm saying make sure I, that I do. you're saying the story mm. But you, you also know that, you know, like you said, um, because of Bimbo's energy, right? Yeah. And the way he projected, let's not also forget the projection online was a bit confusing. That's scary. If you get what I'm saying, the That's videos, scary. the reels, people yeah, were a little yeah. bit confused. Okay, is she not happy in this marriage? Um, are they now okay? If it, you know, there were a lot of they beautiful memories. With everything yeah, you know, people stressing. would not know that face. That is a thing. And I'm giving grace to those people who perhaps could have helped, like you said, that kind of help, but did you not render it. I still feel I'm sorry to say. There are so mm. many things that our parents have done that is still hurting us. Mm. Which one is mm. that they wanted the people to draw out help? There's so many people that don't mm. understand that they need help. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Walking on the on the street that they need help. You will be saying somebody that needs help will not agree that they need help now. It is true that mm. they need help. True. We don't I don't think we have any therapists in Nigeria. We don't even the therapist is in the same shit that we are in. Kilo shen, ya bimbo, ya kilo shen, if you don't have the strength, I could then you find what it's at. I I I would I would um you know I totally understand where you're coming from, but just so to, I don't want to say, pass. I don't want to take both actually. I don't want to say mm. people try to help. So best things will be saying even from the house. I try to call people. What can your call do? Mm. Well, I I just want to take you up on something, sister, and that is the mother's part. Um, you know, just so we you know I I just want us to put still put in view. You have a valid point, but just to put in view that regardless of what they didn't do right, everybody's mourning right now. If you get what I'm saying, you know, she, she's lost a child. And because this is a life session, no, I don't want anyone to... No, I'm not going to say that to her. I would have said that to mm -hmm. her before the incident. Mm -hmm. Mommy, kilo day. Yeah. Mommy, kilo mm -hmm. day. Mommy, kilo mm -hmm. day, kilo day. So I know who me. Kilo day, they know they mean. Mommy, kilo day mm. now. Mommy, kilo day. Mommy, two, 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 two. I saw a video where he was talking to the mother rudely. So it means... You stand and talk to my mother like that. My point, I'm not eh? Mommy, I'm not be numa. Only mommy, what do you like? Mommy, I'm not be numa. Mommy, ah, mommy, ah, ah, eh. Hey. No, I'm from Kawana Radio. Ah. Mommy, ah, ah, bring him up. Ah, bring him up, darling. Mommy, ah, then. Ah, we are so sorry for your loss. Shet, shet, boma. Eh, Johnny, to be alone. <laughs> I think no, I didn't know. I didn't know too. I didn't know mommy joined. No, no, no. See, it's it's fine. I'm sure she understands the message. So let us move on. You know, and I want us to talk about this is quite sensitive. Um, I would have loved real surprise, but she's listening. There has been a lot of you know, yeah, sis. You know, there is this thing now on the internet, you know, about being but being a negligent parent and mother. I'm sorry, I didn't get that being but being what? A negligent parent. People have also, you know, they are also saying that she was an ignorant parent, that she didn't pay attention to her children. What I, what I personally feel, I mean, mm -hmm. the reason I connected mm -hmm. with Bimbo was because, I mean, mm -hmm. Bimbo had my energy. Bimbo was amazing. Mm -hmm. She had so mm -hmm. much positive energy in her. Now, mm -hmm. for me, Bimbo, Bimbo, Bimbo didn't deserve to go the way she did. Now, mm -hmm. what many people didn't know is Bimbo. I might be wrong, but I feel she had a lot of issues. Bimbo was taking medications. She mm. was on, like, not had drugs, but medications. No, you can't be going through all that and then you won't have a mental breakdown. Exactly. You know, so this Bimbo, is where people need to think for you. Bimbo was amazing. Now, if you Bimbo say, if you say negative, uh -huh. she has shown the uh -huh. trait. In fact, if it was to be in a very more um, organized and systemic um, 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 country, they will have taken mm. those children from her because she was mm. portraying and showing some signs that you know is not good around children. So I'm mm -hmm. concerned about the children. If people was mm -hmm. going through a lot at that period, the children mm -hmm. were also going through the same thing. 
If that guy was beating Bimbo, doing all that with Bimbo, the children were stealing the eat too. The children were, were, they, were, they, they were in pain. They may not be able to express. That is why he told me. You said, whatsoever Bimbo said, the children actually faced that. Way. And that was the reason why, even in Nike, they understand, no, these children cannot be under all this. Children mm. think, children understand, children feel, mm. children are stressed. Mm. And because they will not mm. think about it, nobody will ask them about it. It makes their situation even worse. Mm. So yes, I would put it to you that negligence, because if you think about your children, nothing does mm. worth it. I get out of that mm. place, I take my children mm -hmm. because of their sanity, and yalla, I'm gone. Yes. Mm -hmm. She did not take the right decisions. At some point, mm. when it comes to the children, yes, it mm. is obvious. Mm. Which is wrong. Mm. That man mm. not be in his right senses and be doing that. So you mm. are the woman. The man is wrong. The woman too is ah uh ah. -uh. Now mm. these are the next generation. How do we want to train up those child? I still remember what did every goddamn thing all those uncles did to me when I was growing up. Imagine mm. I'm, now, I'm, I'm now implementing all those things I've watched, I've seen people do. Mm -hmm. Do you know what, mm. do you know what I'll, be, I'll, I'll be spreading out? Those children right now are everyone's children. In prayers, mm. in everything. See, and let me, let me quickly... Taken out of this country. Let yes, and that's... Teachers, when... Their teachers are yeah. watching... The students, their friends are watching. Everybody knows the children are going through a whole lot. Bimbo's lost in me. Exactly. And because Bimbo's family are here, please, I need you to take this to heart what she has just said. Please. We are mourning with you. We are also appealing to you to make sure those children are under the right care not where they're not traumatized father, again. Never. Because please. I made a video where he was even cursing the kids. Yeah, it cost it cost the daughters. He said that um, um, um you, you would, they will they will end up like their mother. The yeah, it should be let, let them. I mean, and they also need to go for so therapy. With everything that is Please. going on right now, if they take it out to any embassy, they will take care of the children well. The mm -hmm. children needs to be well taken care of. Delete if they can delete everything that has happened. We know it can be very difficult. Those children. Mm. When they kill Osama Bin Laden, they said the child mm. was there. And then I was like, <laughs> America, <laughs> the child mm. was there. Do you think the child is going to forget? No matter how good America becomes to the child, that child will still be thinking something. Mm. Children know they forget. Mm. Mm. So please, I, I, please, everybody I agree. speaking on the first child. Yeah, I think that first child, only, only, only understand the last child. The last child, that baby girl, is that a baby girl? Yeah. You yeah, the, think she doesn't know anything. <laughs> yeah. And aside from the baby girl, sis, the first daughter who has access to the internet, the one who is always in the reels with the mother and the TikTok videos. I am speaking to Bimbo's family. I know you guys are here live. Please, I am appealing to you if you can take that child's phone now, at least for now. Don't let her read the negativity online. They've seen enough traumatic no, cannot event. help that aspect taking the phone mm. from her you are putting her in another depression you need to let well, her know you need to put her in a place that okay these people are trying to you know you can actually reduce the screen time but you mm. need to let her understand okay this has happened this is what we should be expecting okay mm. you will not let your own decisions drive you mm. towards what is happening please mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. we could not undo it because we had us could not it's not anything adults can actually handle Please, yes, you know, they need to taking out the phone from them. Yes, it's good, yeah. but it's another form of it's like taking away a phone from an adult, too. Yeah, the, the reason why I said that, sis, is because someone, someone just said what I was going to tell you now is a suicide note. I'm, I don't know if you are aware that that child posted the suicide note that was posted online last week. Um, apparently, that suicide note, you know, she had sent it to her mother, it was while the mother was alive. So it is not taking the device completely. It is, like you said, managing it. Because for our mental health, for that child's mental health, it is important, you know, to actually filter what she reads online now. The negativity online is too much. I mean, it's almost as yeah, if there is somebody now. Yeah, we cannot take it from her. 
we should let her know this is you no know, when you get out of this place you're going to be strong this is expected this is what they will mm -hmm. say you know what is going mm -hmm. on okay i need you to be fair i need you to take care of your sisters i need you to take mm. care of, you need to give tell her that oh now is not the time to you need to be responsible you don't want to hurt the way mommy mm. and daddy have done you don't want your sisters to be like this this is weird you, you understand so she needs a professional we need to check in that professional said we will take this job she needs to get out of this country they need to leave this country really Really? And, you know, just to quickly add, I know there are a lot of people here. Please, if you are presently in an abusive marriage, I want to share a number now of, for DSVRT. That's the Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team in Lagos. The number is 080033. That's, um, I believe, five threes. Please save the number. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it here as well. I am saying this because it's the live session. They might, we might be able to save another woman while we're having this conversation. So I am appealing to you. If you are in an abusive marriage and you are listening, don't just listen, take action. This might be your saving grace out of the marriage. So please take action. Thank you, Sid. So, you Sid, think I, they I don't, don't know they are in an abusive marriage. It's identifying when to leave. People don't understand their boundaries. Mommy, mm. come on, you don't need that. Come on, you don't need that. Call this mm. They know. Mm -hmm. You need to know. You need to know that there are a lot you are going to be losing, and your life is not your own alone. You do not have mm. the right to die. Mm. If you die, you mm. are affecting so many souls. You need to know how significant you are on earth. Mm. I'm not afford to fall sick. I was telling somebody mm. until my husband comes. That is when I can fall. I have the right to fall sick because there is somebody to take care of the mm. children. No, they are not mm. there's nobody to take care of the children. I need to be strong for them. So if mm. I'm in an abusive marriage, you need to know when to stop. Identify your boundary. I cannot take mm. it any longer. If you don't have kids yet, people are out there that lost you. We cannot stop you. We cannot come and drag you away from that place. It is only you that can save yourself. You, two, you are just like one person in a very one tiny person in a very dark dark shadow be mm. if you raise your hand we are already stretching your hand we are already stretching hand to us mm -hmm. but until you raise your hand that is where we can pull you up you have no right mm. to die nobody yeah, has I, no right I, to die your life is I, attached to so many people when you die there are no destiny that die with it are you selfish I, I agree. I agree with you. And, um, you know, it's so sad that, you know, Bimbo had to, you know, lose her own life in this marriage. But like I said, I believe there are women out there who they might not know the context of what they're even into. Like you said, people don't even know they are being abused psychologically. It's become a norm. A man talks down on you every day. You feel it's a norm because he's the head of the family. Right. And someone said something on the Internet the other day and said, if Bimbo had been the one that killed her husband, if Bimbo had done something to her husband, the narrative is going to be different online. And I said, yes. <laughs> I said, yes. Then but I now that. Agree, then I will agree it's a mental meltdown. I would say, of course, I'm mentally derailed. What do you expect of you? Mm. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. But now the man is, the man is spending his, his, his right senses. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this, please. We can still yeah, say that. Please, let's, yeah, let's I know. talk to the kids. Mommy, yes, she is perfect. Wow. Ah, eh, no one looking here. Any mistake he for on you? I for wish you pay. You know, okay, he la ragon get lost in the deep. Get foolish. Get get jet. Ah, mommy. Ah, can it be possible? Ah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a little bit different thing. Yes, she is my perfect. Wow. I don't know. Mommy, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. No problem. Thank you thank you so much. Problem. No problem. Royal hug. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Is... Well, yeah. The question that I wanted to ask, I don't know if we we're privy of it. It is what um, has been, you know, it's so quite sensitive. Asking... The, the drug issue. And what I, I saw something online that actually triggered this live session. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want us to speak to what we don't know. However, yeah, a couple of people, I saw a post and people said maybe it, it was because she was under the influence that day that things but, went. Yeah. yeah that we got it yeah or you know and folks are saying that a lot of our friends who were close to her knew 
about the drug use. So, which you get what I'm saying, Roya Hawk? So I that's why I'm. Friend, you know, I think about the hard drug. But I knew she was taking medications for depression. That's about mm -hmm. it. I'm aware mm -hmm. of medications for depression, but I didn't. I don't know about hard drugs. Okay. And that's the thing that we've heard. It's normal to to slide. Yeah, I don't know. It's normal that. to 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 have a deal with a hard drug than a depression drug. A depression drug will not even work. I mean, I know about mm -hmm. the depression drug, but I don't know about the hard drug. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. And I also want to add, um, folks, um, you know, I don't have I don't have private knowledge of that either. I cannot speak to what I do not know. Now, we actually need to be careful because that's not the problem. Have they done up to see or anything? Exactly. That's why I said I cannot speak to what I don't know. The people who um, have people shared that, that information. Stage, with everything that we've read and then with the mm -hmm. money they have. Hey, Lekki right now, the way that they talk about Lekki, they do say that place in another country. So they, they, they are saying this, things, but it has not been clarified or confirmed that they uh, yes. mm -hmm. But of course, she has been so. See, we are not done. You will be showing a trait of some certain things. So, mm. you, you don't need to tell me, oh, mm. you. I will see the way you will be doing. Mama, mm. you. You, see? Mm -hmm. you see? You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But yes. whatever it is, whatever it is, I just, mm -hmm. I just, I just, I just, I just pray, I just pray that, you know. It's gone already, and then I just pray everything will become um, normal, real fast, good, mm -hmm. better, especially because mm -hmm. of the kids. They should take yes. them to come on more or Yankee, come on more. They should be they should be watchful of where the country they take them to. Right now, mm -hmm. are they Muslims? They are Christians. I, I right think now, was a come on, someone who street in the farm water because whether we like it or not, oh my, no one more. You got that one, oh my, no one more. <laughs> yes. Well, let's, let's not let's you see know, let no, us see, see, we, need, we need actually need to be truthful <laughs> to be able to help them see i thought it yes, was cool you understand i need to mm -hmm. know where you are right now what you see mm. into your mind so that i can mm. help you and be able to predict what you'll be mm. doing that is real mm. those kids they should not go to yankee where they can easily have access to whatever Mm. They don't joke with such things. I know what I'm mm. talking about. Mm. Those kids, whether we like it or not, Baba one are done. Yeah, one are mm. done. Well, we have mm. not be confirmed, but they have the traits, you know. It, it, it could mm. be child initiated, it could be adult initiated, but majority more of it is adult initiated because they see these are the people that live with mm. them. The things we don't mm. know, the kids know. But the time we mm. see children on life, you'll be surprised. Mm. So let them just take mm -hmm. them to. I, I'm not. It's not guaranteed in a Yankee. Or she they shake a lot of things. So in Yankee, you know. But who are one shake a lot of things? Yeah. Who are one? There was one of my uncle. Let me give you an instance. There was one of my uncle mm -hmm. that they were like, "Eh, okay, that was from one friend. I can't from one friend. But that me my job was like, "Eh, no. Eh, oh, what am I from? I can't. Eh, who are lost? See, no, don't jump. By the time they understand the consequences of their reaction. Eh? Mm. They will sit right. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what yeah, do you do? Oh, they no, and they are they are so blessed. No, what do you? And then they will not be mm -hmm. exposed to all those drugs before you know it. Before you know it, I'm serious. They should even watch it. Those that they will, I I disagree with you. Not America. Yes, no, not no, America. No, no, no. Oh, they should all be there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you. Thank you for having me here. God bless you. Come on. No problem. No problem. I love you. Bye. Please, can I go? Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Um, thank you. No problem. Have a good one, everyone. You too. All right. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for joining. You know, just to add to what she said. Um. Yeah, just to add to what she said. You know, I, I'm not in any position to tell the family where to take their children for therapy or where to relocate those children to. The whole idea is for these children to get help. So wherever they can get help, you know, I'm fine with that. As long as the kids, you know, are not in danger. The truth is, we, we might not be able to erase what they've seen and what they know about their mother. But one thing we can do right now as a society, and I am imploring us, is to please be empathetic and be human. 
in our submissions online. Whatever we are saying about their mother, let us remember that the mother is gone. Bimbo is no more here to defend herself. What she didn't do right or the things that she did wrong while she was alive. Yes, please ask your question. You know, it doesn't matter anymore. Please, it does not matter anymore. The thing, she's gone. She's gone. Can we just focus on the children? Can we focus on, you know, sending love and light to the children? And I'm, mommy, they said you're alive, Bimbo's mom. Uh, you know, thank you so much for, you know, everything you did for your daughter when she was alive. I know you must have tried your best in trying to get her help. Please, we are imploring you, help us look after those children. Put them in therapy, man. Please, immediately, let them be in therapy. If you can reduce their screen time so they don't have access to read all this negativity online, it is going to help greatly, right? We are not here to talk down on the family. And I'm talking to Bimbo's family. I know some of you are here. That wasn't the essence of this live session. We're not here to speak against you guys. We're not here to say that you're not doing enough. We acknowledge the support that you gave to her while she was alive. We are going to leave the nitty gritty and the legal part to you. I don't have a right to speak to that. But what I can do as a women's advocate, as a journalist, is to please implore you to do the needful for the children. Please, the children are my own concern. You know, so please do the needful for them. Do whatever you can to help them. How do family members help in toxic relationships, especially if the people come back together? Well, the truth is this. <laughs> the moment a woman goes back to a toxic relationship, believe me, it, it, it takes a lot of, um, how do I put this? It takes a lot of tact, right, to get involved. Because if someone left an abusive relationship and then she went back into that abusive relationship, well, the only thing you can do is to try right, is to try. Because if both parties are toxic, then that's even more dangerous. Because you getting involved might get you into trouble. So it's a very sensitive thing. And if, lastly, if a person is not willing to leave an abusive relationship, there is hardly anything anyone can do, except the government is involved, or they have to go there. Someone has, you know, someone made a report on their own behalf and they went there to bundle out of the house. But even at that, those things, there's also the issue of consent. There's also the issue of boundaries, privacy, right? I have seen situations where you try to help a victim, and at the end, the victim would, would tell you not to help them. I have spent my money, time. People who know my work, they know. I've spent my money and time in helping victims of domestic violence, Severally, When you get to the middle of the case, okay, come and leave the house today. Send money for you to leave. Leave secretly, no. They want to die there. So what do you do in that situation? Or they block you. Some will even block me. So here is the thing before I leave. If you are in an abusive relationship, let me give you a trick now. And you are married to a narcissist. You are married to a toxic man. You are married to someone who has tortured you psychologically. Or the person has used the word like, I will kill you. I will destroy you. I will break you. I will render you useless. Hmm? And you know deep inside that you want to leave. Eh? Don't poke the bear. Nguanu. Don't go and poke the bed. It's not the time for you to say, I'm going to leave you tomorrow. I'll leave you next tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't die before you leave. Don't die before you leave. Don't let them use body back to carry you. If you want to leave, leave eh, quietly. Live with your dignity. Live in peace, rather. Live in peace. And listen, those of you who would say, I'll buy this also say, I cannot leave because I, I will not have a car again. Oh, you want to die because of car. If you die inside of, in, because of car, they will use that for a uh, pickup van to come and pick your dead for the ass of the marriage. So if you want to leave an abusive marriage, it is not the time to nag the man. It is not the time to start talking back at him. You already know this person is abusive. You know what they can do and cannot do. Use that to your own advantage and live in peace. Live in peace. So I am imploring everyone right now. And if you know that marriage is making you toxic, because I wrote something yesterday and someone asked me to elaborate. Here is the truth. If you are in a toxic marriage and a partner is toxic, there is a possibility that you pick up on their toxic traits and you start acting that way. And I believe that was what happened between Bimbo, Ogbona, and IVD. One party was toxic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the beginning of their marriage. I cannot speak to that. And they both picked their toxic traits. And at some point, they could not manage it again, right? Because when toxic energy meets toxic energy, what is that? A ticking time bomb, right? So I am imploring you. I already shared the DSB routing number. I'm going to share again on my post. 
Please, if you're an abusive marriage, in an abusive marriage, leave to leave. And for those of you who judge single parents like me, when we leave abusive marriages, and you are shouting leave to leave, you are part of the problem. Because when we leave, what we need is your support. What we need is empathy. What we need is love. It is not for you to start judging. And if somebody leaves an abusive marriage and they don't want to talk about the context or the reason why they left the marriage, leave it be. Please, you don't need to understand it. Just accept it and show them love. Nobody walks into a marriage with the purpose of leaving. So if you don't understand something, why did you leave? Leave it. Leave them. Leave them. Let them just leave the person. If you cannot show them love, don't say anything nasty to them. Please. People are going through a lot. Some people are dying in their marriage right now because they are, they, are, they are scared of being judged. They don't want to be judged by people. They don't want us to judge them. And we are the same society that will come now. Now, being buzzed on that, if you go on Facebook now and search for live to live, believe me, 90% is from Nigerians because of this being boss situation. Next week now, think it will die down. Another thing will happen. You see, those same people now, they'll see single mother tomorrow now posting something. They will say, uh, inside a uh, uh, um, single mother, she was not patient enough. What do you guys want? Eh? Please, nobody. Yes, yes, yes. You don't go into a marriage and want to leave and become a single mother. Respect people's reasons, no matter what it is. Respect the reason why they left. You cannot birth kids for somebody and you just wake up one day and you just want to leave. No. If your life is in danger, I am saying this life, leave. If you don't feel safe, leave. Listen, if, he has, if that man has a mother and um, sisters, let them go and be praying for him. You pray your own prayer from a distance. Because eh, you see this line between life and death is like this, total small. Just small. One thing goes up like this, and that's the end. Don't let anybody mess up with your mental health. That's another part. So aside from living, there's a mental health challenge. The longer you stay, the longer you know your mental health goes down spiral. So if you stay for, say, 10 years in an abusive marriage, it's likely that your mental health will start deteriorating. And before you know what's happening, you're not in control of your thoughts anymore. You are not in control of a whole lot. Right? You are not. So I am, I am, I am, I am appealing to us, while this session is for, you know, bimbo, it is also for us to, you know, speak to ourselves, to help our sisters. That lady you saw on Facebook that is typing that cryptic message that is not happening in a marriage, don't judge her. Help. The one on Instagram always posting that she's happy. Hmm? Reach out. But you know that the husband is beaten in the house. Reach out and help. Call on their behalf. Call DSVRT. Call the Office of the Public Defender on their behalf to make a case for them. You don't even need to let them know. That is how we can help. Those are the ways we can help. So I am, I am, I am also, you know, lastly, before I leave, I just want to beg, um, you know, folks out there, once again, let's be mindful of what we share regarding this issue. Please, Bimbo's oldest daughter has access to the internet. Yes, you can't control what people do with their devices, but can we be empathetic? Can we understand that this woman is gone and our children are going to be, I have a lot of information I can share, but I'm not saying, as you can see, it is not my place to share intel. It is not, it is not. I am not going, I'm not going to use anybody's um, issue to chase clout. It is not. I am here to educate. Listen, I'm a single mom of two. I know what it takes for somebody to leave an abusive marriage. It's not, it is not easy. The psychological torture, the mental torture. Have, have you been with a psychopath? Have, have, have they begged you? Eh? Have you been a, like someone who is messing with your mental health? They will put fire today. They will put water tomorrow. And you are there. You are like, okay, should I leave? And then they make you, they, render, they want to render you useless. You might not even have money of your own. They know you cannot leave because once they take that access to finances from you, where do you want to live to? Which is the more reason why you need to live quietly. Because when a person is bent on destroying you, believe me, if you're in a marriage and the person is bent on destroying you, they will go to any length to reduce you to nothing. So you help yourself. Don't go and poke the bear. Don't go and start telling that abusive man that you're going to leave them. Live quietly. Live without announcing. Don't, 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 don't start announcing your, your, oh, uh, your movement, leave, just leave the marriage. If you have to give up your cars, give, give it up. If you have to give up your luxury and your beautiful life, give it up. It is for your future and your children's future. Who can they have forever? My person, when they're alive, they drive car. 
you die like this not sin. So please, I am not here, like I said, to castigate anybody. I appreciate everyone. Yes, I'm a zone. Our community is so bad. Yes. Yes, so they thank people. Me, I've been on the journey for seven years. I don't send again. People, <laughs> single motherhood is not a disease. I don't owe anybody an explanation for why I left my marriage, but I hold my children a beautiful future. So that's what I hold on to. When people come at me with the judge, Georgina thing, they want to judge me. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. As long as my children are safe, as long as I'm able to protect my children's mental health, that's all. And that's what we should all do. So if you are here listening to me and you know you're in an abusive marriage, I beg, don't, don't lie to yourself, oh, leave. Leave, 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 leave. Bimbo is gone today. There is a woman out there now that we can say, help us, help us, help us, please. Help us save more women. Some people don't even know. Yes, and family should, family should support women who are, yes. Let me also speak to that. You see, on family supporting women who want to leave, the thing is, a lot of people don't even talk about the abuse to their family. It's something we don't address. A lot of people hide that part of their life. <laughs> so it is the family you tell that you have been abused that knows you have been abused. So the question we should start asking is, at what point did the family know? If the family, if they've always known from the get-go, yes, I agree, they should do something. And like Bridget said before she, you know, and um, Royal of Surprises said, go there and you can even go and bond with the person out of the marriage. However, there's little you can do for a victim who is not willing to leave an abusive marriage. Please know this and no peace. So until a victim decides on their own that I am going to leave, and it is better to be a single mom than be six feet under the ground. I am telling you, they will judge you. People will judge you. I mean, they still judge me to tomorrow. But I don't care. I'm, I don't care. Because the truth is, nobody knows your story like you. So I am imploring you for all the people who are judging being born now. Yes, you want to use a name for clout. Use a name for traffic. Use a name for likes and comments. Remember. <laughs> that because being boy is popular or married or she was married to a popular person and they were a power couple it is easy for you to build content the things you are saying about being born negatively is would affect people that are close to you who are going through violence and to open up to you and i hope people see it that way so if you are coming online to attack a woman who died in an abusive marriage remember that you are also blocking the way for someone to open up to you if they're in an abusive marriage those who need help because since you are, you've turned yourself to Georgina online, that judgment now, it will stop them. So pray, tell that you don't lose anybody. Pray you don't lose anybody, you know, in an abusive marriage. Because it's always easy to judge. It's always easy to say, uh, she could have done better. You're not in their shoes. Okay, someone does, okay, someone just sent me a private message of sp the spiritual part. Yeah, so the spiritual part of marriage is the part we don't talk about. <laughs> but it's not a story for today. Maybe I'll bring a pastor on one of these days. But let me just drop it. Listen, the spiritual, there is the diabolical aspect of domestic violence in marriages. We don't talk about it enough. And that is the reason why a lot of people walk away without saying a word. You want to force people to talk. You don't know what they've seen in the marriage. You don't know what they were exposed to. You don't know the things that they were forced to do. Right? But then the moment you start forcing them to talk, you don't know if you are going to put their life in danger. So once again, when a person wakes up to tell you, I am leaving my marriage because of a spiritual reason, let them go. Don't ask questions. Just support them. All right? Please just support them. Thank you, everyone, for, for joining my live session. I'm going to post this video on my YouTube channel for those who want to watch. However, I am Team Beam Boss Family. I am standing by a family at this time. I am not here to castigate the husband. I am not here to start taking sides. I am just here to advocate for the sanity of the children, to empathize with the family who have just lost a daughter, you know, a sister, and to, uh, you know, of course, to stand by our friends who were very close to her, because a lot of us knew her online, but we did our best. So go on my YouTube channel. You know, you can watch this on my YouTube channel. I'm also going to add some helpline numbers for those who want to leave abusive marriages. My YouTube channel is Esther Ijewere. I am going to type it here. So search for it. I'm going to share numbers, different helpline numbers on my YouTube channel for those who want to leave abusive marriages. Please 
you know, if once I post it, because I'm going to, I rather post it on YouTube because it's a global platform. Um, yeah, for those who who want to, yeah. So I'm going to post it there for those you know who might want to you know sort of like watch again or get those numbers. Sis, thank you so much for joining us, Sis Olabisi, and thank you for being a strong advocate. Um, you guys might not know her. She's um. You know, she's an amazing person from Facebook, one of the women that I admire so much on Facebook, a very strong mother, a single mom, who has continuously used that platform to support, you know, single moms out there. And for single moms who are on my platform, if you want to join who are live here, you can join my Single Moms View group on Facebook as well. I'm going to put it here. So if you need support, single mothers, if you need support, join this group on Facebook, Single Moms View. I'm posting it, single mom's view. So join that group. If you're a single mother, you need help. You want to leave an abusive marriage. You don't know what to do. You need a shelter. I'm going to help. We help on that group. So we send you to a shelter. We direct you to a shelter. We speak to the shelter manager you know, where they take you in for a while. You might be there for like three months or two months, you know, after which we, we integrate you back into the society, but we cannot post the address of the shelter. So please, if you know anyone, I, I don't know, I've been using life for a long time. I don't even know how to pin. So Single Moms View is a group on Facebook for those if you are here live and you want to leave that abusive marriage, you don't have shelter, you don't have where to go, but you need shelter, you need a roof over your head for a bit you know for you to at least get yourself say for like two or three months and what we also do sometimes is to provide monthly support to women like that i mean if you have something you're doing perhaps you need money to go to work uh transport fare welfare for your children we do our bit to help right so follow share that group with someone and then you can also follow women of rubies ng on all platform you can follow me on facebook yeah so that's for women who want to join. So thank you everyone for joining once again. I'm sorry, I can see a lot of people want to join me live. Men off. Okay, so follow Women of Ruby's NG as well. Um, that's my group for women. If you are doing an amazing work out there, you know, whatever sector you are in, you want to be spotlighted, you want to be seen, you want to, you know, advertise your work, please join Women of this NG. If you need any form of publicity for your work, I'm a PR consultant as well. Send me a DM, you know, I'm always available for consultations at least for like 20 minutes to put you through all of that. But beyond that, I am a proud single mom. So let me say that before I leave because people want to judge us all the time. I'm a proud single mother of two children. And yes, regardless of what Bimbo has done, or didn't do, or whatever allegations people are peddling against that online right now, I am going to stand by the children. I am going to empathize with the family. I am not going to use my platform to judge anybody, but to educate. So thank you everyone once again. God bless you for your time. I appreciate it. Follow me on YouTube to watch the video again. Have a good evening and